Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. That was not something I was expecting to be doing at the Intro to Tactical Shotgun course that I took from Frankie McRae of Radon Tactics. Of course, he gave us really good reasons why we need to be able to fight with a shotgun, not just as a firearm, but as a standoff device and as a club if you run out of ammunition. And he taught us how to do it and gave us a chance to practice it on that dummy. It was really cool, part of the, part of the fun that we had this weekend. Of course, we learned a lot of traditional tactical shotgun techniques as well, and I ended up with hours of footage from it. But until I get a chance to go through it all, I wanted to show you one skill that I learned from start to finish so you can see how this course was structured and how Frankie McRae teaches it. And that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. We started with an initial skills assessment. I hadn't picked up a pump shotgun in over 20 years. All my shotguns are autoloaders. So what I'm doing here is just a result of watching the people before me. I really didn't know what I was doing, but that's why I was at this course. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. And it's, it's the full size target you want me to hit. Either one. Eighteen point seven one. It's a benefit of going last. I wouldn't have known what to do if I didn't watch you guys. <laughs> After showing us a really good way of loading from the top, Frankie spent one-on-one -on -one time with every member of the class until we got it right. All right, on that one, you're you're grabbing it, but you're fingering it this way. Yeah. Don't finger it that way. Attempt to grab it like this, okay? Or in this hand here, coming across. Because when you rotate this way, you can yeah, reach it. Yeah, because I had to kind of That's let right. go of it. Hold it in, the, in, the, it in, in your fingers, flat. Okay, so go ahead. Because I, I got it. Okay. There you go. You were husking me to death. Okay. All right, yeah, pick it up, do it again. It makes a big difference. Frankie never rushed us through his skill. We always had enough time to practice it, and he was always there to answer questions we had. And with just about five minutes of this practice and his help when I needed it, it's easy to see just how much I improved. At the end of the day, we went head to head, so we had some stress while we were trying to show what we learned. Though I did hit that popper, it wasn't solid enough to knock it over, so I had to give it a second shot. But because of what I learned that day, I was also ready for it. So it's from here we finished the exact same way we started, and that gave us a quantitative measure of just how much we improved from the skills we learned. Ten point oh eight. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Being an autoloader guy, you know, it was an adjustment going over to the pump and I, I understand why people think you need to have a pump for home defense. Of course, I hit the, the shotgun lottery, I guess, with this ultra-reliable 1187. But I am going to be building up an 870 for, for home defense, even though actually one of my carbines is my primary HD weapon. Uh, but I, hopefully this gave you a glimpse of you know, how Frankie does these courses. I learned a lot in a very short period of time, as, as you could see. And it's because of the one-on-one -on -one attention that he gave me and everybody at that class. There are a lot of other skills that we learned that I want to show you in another video. I also want to show Frankie teaching and I want to show you all the other great students that were part of this because all of those things together made this a great class. But in the meantime, if you want to learn more about Radon Tactics and the different instruction that it offers, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. Now more than ever, YouTube needs to know that you like firearms oriented programming. Be sure to click up here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.